In this video, we will review how to complete a work breakdown structure. A work breakdown structure is the tool to defining the scope of a project. So if an item of work is not in the work breakdown structure, as in it's not represented there in some way, that work won't get done. So the work breakdown structure is a critical tool to project management and one of the first things we do in order to determine what our project's about and what we need to be doing. It's something that we can show stakeholders to help us know that we've scoped the project correctly. So within the templated workbook, there is an example. So we have one here, compliance training e-learning update. Across the top, we have the main deliverables or high order deliverables, update training modules, staff training, evaluate and close. So under each of these main deliverables are different groupings of work. Uh, some people will call these work packages. So update training modules, we have review and update existing modules, create new e-learning modules, and upload them to the learning management system. Under staff training, we're going to identify and inform staff to be trained, assign some learning modules, e-learning modules, and track and manage their completion. Lastly, we'll evaluate and close. Evaluate the completion rates, the timing and communications, evaluate training experience feedback, and produce a finalization report and handover activities. So each of these lower level work packages roll up to the top level deliverable. You'll also notice there is some coding. So we have deliverable 1.0 with 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 .2, 2 and so forth. This is to make it easier to communicate and for the project team to be on the same page. So if I was holding a project meeting, I might be saying today we're talking about work package 2.1, which is identify and inform staff to be trained. And you'd be able to have a conversation and know that everybody's following uh, the same chunk of work. So we're going to have a look at how to develop a work breakdown structure for the example project that we've been working on. So I'm just going to scroll up and our project plan that we've been dealing with uh, is one with this scope of work. So develop an online survey instrument, implement it to all employees, do some data analysis, identify some strategies, evaluate and provide a written report. Now, typically, we would have developed these initially through doing a work breakdown structure. So actually, we do the work breakdown structure fairly early on, and then it helps us to write the rest of the, the project plan. But let's have a look here about how we might develop this. So I have a template in PowerPoint, and I'm using this one. So first of all, we have to have a name for the project. So if we go back to our original document, our project name is Employee Engagement Survey 2020. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into this template. So now we know the project that we're working on. I just have to format this slightly. And there's our main uh, project title. Okay, so now we need to decide what our main deliverables will be, will be and we can organise these in a couple of different ways. So if we look back uh, to what I have here, we've got develop the survey, uh, implement it, uh, data analysis. So we need to decide where this work goes. So I will put develop survey here. So this will be 1.0 develop survey. Now you can imagine there'll be some different things we need to do, some other work to develop that survey. So one might be to consult with the organ organisation. So my first chunk of work might be centred on some consultation. Um, then we might build a draft sur survey uh, and then we might finalise the survey. Uh, here there would be coding, so 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. Each of these work packages would also have some different activity and tasks to do within them. So you can imagine for consultation we might have uh, 
the certain groups you want to consult with or desk-based versus interview. Uh, we can decide on what other little tasks go here. In terms of drafting the survey, this might be specifying the, the type of online software such as Sur SurveyMonkey. There could be a number of little tasks that go in here. Finalising the survey, for example, may also include some testing. So just imagine that there would be some subtasks under 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. So for Deliverable 2, which will be 2.0, we had to implement the survey. And remember, our scope of work was to all staff. So the work packages for implementing survey could be, for example, uh, 2.1. Uh, you might organise a distribution list if there wasn't already one available. Uh, you might also draft some communications. And then you might actually launch the survey, for example. And once again, there would be a number of little subtasks under each of these. So one thing to notice here is that these all have fairly short names. So the boxes shouldn't have really big long names or phrases. And each box should be named differently so that we're also not confusing key stakeholders. Uh, under Deliverable 3, if we go back to our scope of work, we wanted to do some data analysis. So here, my 3 is data analysis or analyse data. Uh, and you'll have a number of different uh, work packages here. Hopefully this is making sense now. I won't go through absolutely everything. So um, once we've analysed the data, then we're going to have 4.0 which is identify strategies, which would end up with those key strategies, the three that we were looking for. And then the last piece of work uh, is around evaluation, evaluating. So we evaluate the design. So I might call this one just evaluation. And we might put our uh, report as one of the packages of work there. So while this is a deliverable, uh, it's, it's also subsumed within the evaluation uh, chunk of work. So hopefully you can see that the work breakdown structure organises the work in a logical manner. Uh, we develop, we implement, we do some data analysis, we identify the strat strategies and we do the evaluation and include the report. So the most important thing is that our key scope, the things we say we're going to do, are represented within this work breakdown structure. So when you produce your work breakdown structure, just make sure it's logically ordered for your project. So this could be in terms of a process, which is this is more or less a process. First I develop a survey, then I implement it, then I analyse the data, identify the strategies and then do an evaluation. So that follows a process. In some instances you might decide to do it more as a product style. So a product style is what we originally saw on this particular project. So updating training modules is one type of product, delivering staff training is another, and evaluating and closing is another. Uh, so in actual fact, 1.1 and 2.0 may not necessarily be related to each other, as in we could have two different people working on this at the same time. One person could be updating all the training modules and another person could be organising all of that staff training. It's saying that we don't have to do 1.0, then 2.0, then 3.0. These two could actually be in any order. If we go back to the process style, we really can't implement the survey until we've developed it. And we can't analyse the data until we've implemented the survey. We can't identify the strategies until we look at the data and see what comes out of it by way of helping us to identify suitable strategies. And we certainly can't evaluate all of that if we haven't done it already. So remembering this is a process, a process style, and going back, this is more of a product style. If this was a house renovation, the products might be bathroom, kitchen, dining room, for example. So they're the different products that have to be produced. Uh, if this one was a renovation project, it might be to do planning, uh, deconstructing or tearing down things. 
uh, then constructing or installing and then eva evaluating and closing at the end. So two different types of work breakdown structure, product style and process style. You don't do both, you select which one you like the best and that's the one you implement. So initially you may try both ways but eventually you'll either pick process style or product style just merely depending on your preference. Uh, if you're going to have lots of stakeholders reviewing your work breakdown structure you just want to make sure it's easy to understand and that should be the main thing about producing that work breakdown structure. In the next video we'll look at converting the work breakdown structure into a schedule.